Hello everyone and welcome again to another video and I hope that you are safe and sound and everything is going well with you. So today we're going to talk about grammar and this is a lesson that deals with the English chances exactly for second year baccalaureate students. So welcome and let's start please. First of all, we're going to start with talking about the present. So, as you know, in the present, we have four main tenses, which are the present simple, continuous, perfect simple, and perfect continuous. For the present simple, we call it simple because it's really simple. Let's take an example. For example, Bill cooks dinner. Bill cooks dinner. So, Bill is a subject, cook is the verb, and dinner is the object. So, Bill cooks dinner. Negative form, Bill doesn't cook dinner. And does Bill cook dinner? In the negative form, you put don't or doesn't. And questions, you put does or do. It depends on the pronoun. Of course, you know, he, she, and it are exceptions. For the positive form, you put the verb plus the pronoun, except for he, she, and it, you put s or es or ies. For the present continuous, for example, here we have Bill is cooking dinner. And if you notice here, we have the verb to be plus verb plus the ing form which means that in the present continuous we use the verb to be am is are verb and ing form negative form bill isn't cooking and questions you invert is bill cooking and you do that with all the pronouns for the present perfect simple we use have or has and the past participle of the verb has if we have he she and it of course the past participle as you know can be a regular either regular or irregular verb regular verbs plus ed and irregular verbs it can be like uh, for example go went gone or sometimes it's the same thing like the simple past like understood understand understood understood for the present perfect continuous, we have has been cooking or have been cooking as I said it depends on the pronoun and in the negative form, you put hasn't been cooking. Question, you put has Bill been cooking. So this is the form of these tenses just to know and to distinguish between them. Now let's move on to the meaning of these tenses. For the present simple, we use it for a habit or a fact. For example, when I say Bill cooks dinner, that's a habit. That's his habit. A fact like when I say the sun rises from the east. It's a fact. It's 100% true. The present continuous, it's an action that is happening now or around now. For example, now I'm explaining the tenses. Or around now, for example, if uh, I'm explaining, somebody comes, I talk to him, then he, this person leaves, I'm going to continue explaining. I'm going to say I'm explaining, which means around now. The present perfect simple, it's an action that started and finished in the past. For example, when I say Bill has cooked, which means he started before, like 30 minutes ago, and he finishes at the moment. There is past and present. But if I say Bill has been cooking, it means that the action started in the past, like 30 minutes ago, but he is still cooking, he hasn't finished, he will finish in the future. So briefly, the present perfect simple includes the past and the present, and the present perfect continuous includes the past, the present, and also the future. Now let's move on to the past. The past includes the same tenses, but of course they were in the past. Now let's start with the form. Bill cooked dinner. Of course, you know that in the past there are regular and irregular verbs. So, Bill cooked, that's a regular verb. Didn't, in the negative, did plus the pronoun in questions. And of course, when we talk about didn't and did, we talk about all the pronouns. We don't have like the present don't or doesn't. So, I didn't, he didn't, did you, did he, etc. Now, the past continues. We have to be in the past and verb and the ing form. Bill was cooking. The negative form wasn't and you invert the pronoun and the verb and the verb and the ing form in questions past perfect simple we have had cooked and the past perfect continuous had been cooking and of course as i said negative or questions the verb should stay as it is in the past participle or the ing form we don't put it in the in the infinitive like the simple past what about the meaning of these tenses for the simple past now, if they ask me to conjugate verse, and these verse were in the past, if I have one verb in a sentence, I use the simple past, because it's an action that started and finished in the past, one action. 
if I have two actions or more than one action here I can have one of these tenses either the continuous or the past perfect simple or the past perfect continuous now how can I make a difference between them the two actions of the past continuous they can be either like this which means one action interrupted the other for example Bill was cooking dinner when he when his friend called him or the two actions both of them were in the past continuous Bill was cooking dinner while his mom was watching TV for example the past perfect simple these two actions they were different like there was the first action then the second action one action was before the other the first action should be in the past perfect for example Bill had cooked dinner then he left home which means cooking was before leaving the past perfect continues I can say Bill had been cooking dinner then he left home what is the difference Bill had cooked dinner then he left home it means that he cooked dinner he did something here maybe he wore his clothes uh, he washed maybe the dishes he wore his clothes then he left home but when I say Bill had been cooking dinner it means immediately when he cooked dinner he left home there was no or there were no, there were no other actions between the first and the second one I hope that you got it let's move on to the future the future we're going to talk just about two tenses because they are the tenses that you have in the in the program for the future simple we have Bill will cook dinner of course we have other uh, ways how to express the future simple like be verb ing and be going to plus verb but we're going to talk about the most famous one which is will plus verb negative form won't or will not and we invert the will and the pronoun with questions for the future perfect simple we have the future of have which is will have and the past participle of the verb the negative form won't the same thing and we invert will and uh, the pronoun when we ask questions now let's talk about the meaning when I say Bill will cook dinner which means I'm talking here about just one action that will take place in the future but when we say Bill will have cooked dinner it means that I have two actions in the future one will be the f before the other so the first action in the future that's the future perfect simple and the second action in the future simple or sometimes we can use it only by the pronoun by for example you can say by September I will have already got my baccalaureate inshallah or you can say I will have got my baccalaureate then I will travel which means uh, getting your baccalaureate will be first then traveling will be the second and both the actions getting your baccalaureate and traveling will come in the future I hope that you understand this one too so briefly speaking if you want to conjugate verse number one concentrate on the meaning of the tense in order to see to distinguish which tense are you going to use from these tenses and number two try to have a look at the keywords or the time indicators that go with each tense like already yet never etc I hope that you watched the, the video thanks a lot for watching and stay again safe and sound and please don't leave your houses have a nice day